Call Bayesian fans, this is Derek, the V Extreme as always, coming to you live with this matchup, and it is for the ARW Puerto Rico title, and the same. And like I said, this is, like Justin Roberts said, this is for the Puerto Rican title. And now coming up first, we got Jacob Cass. Jacob Cass is very well known in colleagues. He first appeared in the WWE 12 um, story mode where he defeated Team WCW, which consisted of Kevin Nash, Booker T, Big Show, Rey Mysterio, Vader, and Animal to save Raw from WCW. He's also the current New WWE Champion too, so I mean, He's, I mean, he's got a lot going for him lately. He's very well known. But he has also a big challenge in El Toro Extremo and Lariat. And now, coming up, it's Lariat. Now, I mean, anyone that has ever watched New Age Wrestling knows Lariat. He is a four-time NA IC champion and a two-time NAW World Champion. He's also a new, former new WWE United States Champion. I mean, all these people, I mean, except for El Toro Extremo, have been in new WWE. And so they have somewhat of history with each other. And it's, you know, very good that we, that we're all able to come together with this, the CPV to see the spirit of Call living out. And next up is El Toro Extremo. Now he's better known for his part in XGWL. He's a man of mystery. No one who knows who he really is under that mask. He had controversy with Extreme Tony where people have actually believed that he is Extreme Tony under that mask. None of this is confirmed, but from what we do know, he comes from Tijuana, Mexico, and he beat call legend Danny Jackpot to get the XGWL Professional Championship for the second time. So, I mean, he has done an incredible feat and able to beating and able to beat Danny Jackpot. But this isn't XGWL, this is not New Diddy, this is not No, this is called Vasion. And now while it's all combinations of it, nothing can truly mean more than all of it combining and giving all the action combined. So this is a new territory for all of them. But anyway, let's stop detailing the facts and let me just tell you how this is going. This is a triple threat ladder match, so, you know, we're going to be seeing bodies falling. We're going to be seeing a lot of mayhem, I would imagine, from my experience of commentating these matches. Now, from what I understand, I mean, I am still relatively new to Edo Toro Extremo. But from what I can say is that he's a man shrouded in a lot of mystery and maybe that's going to come into a factor and that's a, that was a springboard splash right on to El Toro while I was talking about him and oh man you see that he just picked him up like he was nothing in German suplex by Lariat. That's going to be a lot of action. I mean there's a lot of strategies that can go into this. You can try to work with someone and work to eliminate one guy from the equation but in the end it's every man for themselves and wait look at this oh double gut buster by Jacob Cass and Lariat now they might have the fear of the unknown they don't really know El Toro Extremo so they might be targeting him I don't I don't know what's going through these other's head Lariat's a veteran and and new and new naw and naw personally naw 
And oh, what a big elbow right to the chest of El Toro. Oh, jawbreaker. Oh, and Larry's trying to hit them with that ladder. He hits him with that ladder. That's going to be dangerous. Keep swinging, missing him. Oh, shoulder block. And still missing it. Oh, he got him there. God, he got Jacob Cash right in the mother effing face. And oh, springboard. Drop kick. I don't think he got any of that. And Big Hurricane Rana. Or Frankensteiner, like you guys might like to call it. I mean, I really do not know what the frick is going on here. I mean, a lot of stuff can happen. And now, wait a minute. Is Jacob Cash. What's he doing? Is he set up for the Brain Buster? Hughes, he's got him up in the air. Brain Buster! Brain Buster on El Toro Extremo. And oh, later the chops. And oh, I think Larry was trying to create some distance, but that ended up being working out. But oh, a shoulder block and it misses. And another one of those Hurricane Ranas. And wait a minute. Larry and, the, and him is like, wait a minute. Oh my god, no, 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 no. Oh, son of a gun! Damn! He fell right off the ladder. That's like 15 feet in the freaking air. No way he's crashing against the ladder. Wait a minute. Oh my god. Wait. Oh. I thought maybe he was going to put him through that ladder. And now, oh, he's got him right facing. Ooh, he's trying to go for something, but he blocked it. God, I'm already excited. Wait a minute. What's he doing now? He's got lined up there. And, oh, his shoulder block just. Taking him right against there. And oh man! I, oh, I was almost worried that he hit that. Hit that ladder. That would have been dead. I mean, you know, personally, if I was in their position, I'd be going for those ladders. And wait a minute. Larry, he's on the top. He got the belt. He got it. I mean, he's trying to pull it down. He's trying to get it. They're trying. Oh, and El Toro got him. And wait a minute. What the hell? Oh, he took him down with a power bomb. El Toro, despite getting getting himself brain bust, that seems to have not affected his performance so far. And Jacob Cass is the only one standing in this rubble. And he's trying to set that ladder to become the first ever ARW Puerto Rican ch heavyweight champion. And wait a minute. He got the belt. He got it. He's got it. And, oh, wait a minute, and, holy shit! He just did the electric chair around the top of the ladder! Holy crap! And a freaking bell! Wait a minute. Oh, a freaking stunner still to roll. I mean, into that D2. I mean, Jesus Christ, I'm still getting over that. And Larry got him on the top turnbuckle and freaking Steiner right on top of the ladder and big spot and oh I think Jake Jacob Cass face hit that but he seemed not to be phased by it. and super kick another one of Jacob Cass's trademark moves and wait a minute it looks like he's going for the brain buster again wait a minute he's got it he's got it he's oh a second brain buster and now both of them they're back on top of the ladder and now look at their trading blows they want so badly to be that champion and hit minute he got it he got it he's grabbing it he's trying and oh he missed it and oh shit oh shit oh crap both of them landed face first onto the mat and El Toro is the only one standing in the rubble could he do it oh oh that was smart he's seen I mean I don't know how he did it but Larry was able to get back up quickly and El Toro surprisingly was um showed a lot of intelligence by getting away from him wait a minute oh wait a minute what the hell is he doing wait a minute my god power bomb once again, and Larry got the belt. Larry got the belt, and Larry is the first ever ARW Puerto Rican heavyweight champion. God, I mean, look at that. That, I mean, two freaking brain busters were put on El. I mean, he never looked better in this match. I mean, 
I believe he got hit in the face once with the ladder. He had to take two brain busters. And I mean, he almost went as far as getting the steel step to combat them. And this is the part where Valerian wins. I mean, El Toro powerbombed Jacob Cass off, but he couldn't get the Lariat in time. And Lariat seizing advantage, and now he is the new ARW Puerto Rico champion. God, that was a hell of a match. Surprise are still standing. Man, what a match. And Larry celebrating in that ring. As he should be. That was a brutal match. And look at him waving that belt in the air. We got plenty more of action for you folks, so don't go anywhere. And I'll be here for a little bit while longer.